Nomic has released a truly open source embedding model called as Nomic Embed. This model has already shown a lot of promise with performance similar to OpenAI's text embedding three small model. Now when it comes to embeddings, embeddings are a way to store data of all types including images, audio files, text, documents and lot of other formats in number arrays called vectors. And that is why this nomic embed is so important because data is king in large language models and when we have this truly open source, open data, open training code and fully reproducible and auditable model for embedding, it's a huge news. Text embedding model is really important when it comes to large language model. So this nomic embed is a text embedding model with 8192 context length that outperforms OpenAI's ADA002 and text embedding 3 small on both short and long context tasks. Nomic has also released the model weights and training code under an Apache 2 license as well as the curated data they have used to train the model. I will drop the link to this in video description so that you can also download if you want. Nomic Embed is in general availability for production workloads through the Nomic Atlas Embedding API with 1 million free tokens included and is enterprise ready via their fully secure and compliant Nomic Atlas Enterprise offering which is this and I will also drop the link here. I am also going to show you the code with a demo as how you can use this embedding model within your Python API with the help of Nomic Atlas. Before that, let me give you a very quick overview about this Nomic model and how it has been trained. Now, before I tell you how they have built Nomic Embed, which you can also read on this blog, the text encoders or text embedders are trained in a unique way. They are usually trained with contrastive learning on large collections of paired text in multiple stages. At the very very high level, the transformer architecture is first pre-trained with a self-supervised MLM objective BERT and then contrastively trained with web scale unsupervised data and finally contrastively fine-tuned with a smaller curated corpus of pair data. The first unsupervised contrastive stage trains on a data set generated from weekly related text pairs such as question answer pairs from forums like Stack Exchange and Quora title body pairs from Amazon reviews and then summarization from the news articles. In the second fine tuning stage, higher quality label data set such as search queries and answers from web searches are leveraged and then data curation and hard example mining is very very crucial in this stage. And that is how they have built this Nomic Embed as you can see here and they have made several modifications to their BERT training procedure. All in all, they have done various optimizations such as deep speed and flash attention and they have used uh, floating point 16 precision and they have also increased the vocabulary size. And the batch size is also 4K which is quite impressive. And then if you read through it, there are a lot of other details around what sort of steps have been used and then you know uh, all the uh, benchmarks which they have used during this process. I will drop the link so that you can read further on it but now let me show you how you can use it in your python api this nomic embed model i mean first step which we need to do is to go to nomic atlas website then sign up with your free email um, account for a free account of course and then once you are there then go to dashboard and then grab your token I will be rotating it so don't worry about copying it you can have your own free token and you get 1 million tokens for free which is quite generous okay so once you have your token then go to your local system I am using my trusted Ubuntu 22.4 for this demo let me clear my screen now the first step which you need to do is to log into nomic with nomic login command let me show you so this is the command you need to use nomic login and then your hold token and before that make sure that you have also installed nomic by simply doing pip install and nomic so let me run it 
and that is done and then you can just simply run that nomic login command and you should be logged into nomic via that api let me clear my screen and then let me show you my code which i have written so this is the code so all i'm doing it i'm just saying from nomic import impact import numpy as np and then i'm just passing it a text you can pass it any text of your choice and this is the model the nomic embed one which i'm using and then i'm print, printing the embedding or the numerical vectors of this text let me get out of this vi editor and then run this python 3 embed and this is going to print the vectors in the shape like this so this is how easy it is to use this uh, vector or this embedding model which is nomic embed and now let me change the text a bit so you can see that i have put in two text here which are a bit longer so let's run our embedding model on this text to see how many tokens are there and the shape of it simply run python 3 embed.py and there you go so you can see that this is my shape of the embedding vector and these are the tokens which it has been able to count and you can also check your api usage by going to that atlas website and then click on usage here and then you will see that so far i have used 276 token and i have 1 million token for free so very generous so hats off to atlas for being uh, so generous with this uh, free tier plus of course as i said that they have already open sourced everything and before i close the video i just want to mention one more thing is that we know that there are already various um, embedding models out there for example we have top performing open source long context text embedding models such as e5 mistral and gina embeddings which i also have done videos on but to be fair they are not really practical for general purpose due to the model sizes or they really fail to exceed the performance of their open ai counterpart so that is why if you look at um, most of my videos if i need to use an embedding model i normally use the open ai's text embedding ada model i don't go with any other model because that's lightweight and quite performant but this nomic embed changes everything because this really is a performant one the size is amazing and you already have just seen in uh, practice that how easy it is to use this embedding model so in my future videos whenever i need an embedding model you might see me using this nomic embed that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and you're as excited as i am about this new model and of course the open source nature of it so please share your thoughts in the comments and if you're stuck anywhere or struggling to um, go you know having any issues feel free to put it in the comments and i'll be very happy to help and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share this among your network because it helps a lot thanks for your support much appreciated